Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Amir Karam, board certified facial plastic surgeon. I specialize in facial rejuvenation, which basically means I help people look as young as they feel. And today's topic is right on point, and it's about that very, very principle, which is looking as young as you feel. And it's really about helping you figure out what treatments are going to help you achieve that ultimate goal of looking youthful, which is really what everyone wants when they're going down these roads of, of fillers and Botox and lasers and surgery and watching videos like this, for example. We all want the same thing, which is fundamentally to look youthful, which is how we feel on the inside. So let's explore that topic for a moment, but I wanna you know, I want to basically set this up by saying that there's two characteristics that make the face look young, and I'm gonna break those two characteristics down, which will help you very, very fundamentally understand what different treatments are, and if they fit under those categories or not. So this will make a ton more sense for you as we get through this, but I wanna do a quick little exercise with you. Assuming you're not 18 years old when you're watching this, assuming you're you know in your 40s and 50s 60s, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes for a second. Just give me five, 10 seconds. Let's do this exercise together. Close your eyes and picture how old you actually are, okay? So when I do that, I'm gonna do it along with you. When I do that, I personally see myself somewhere in my early 30s. Where do you see yourself? I bet you it's somewhere in that same age range. And that is the dilemma because we, feel very young, we think we're very young, but then our driver's license says a very different chronological age, our photos show a very different age, our videos show a very different age, and when we have a discrepancy, a discordance between those two things, it's a bummer, it doesn't feel good. And the fact of the matter is we're living a long time, you know, and we're forced to live with these changes that actually only progressively get worse as time goes on. And the gap between the way we look and the way we feel actually gets longer because we somehow just get stuck in these 30s, even if we're in our 60s and our 70s and, and whatnot. So that's the dilemma, that's the origin of our motivation, our desire to look younger. And if you haven't thought of it this way, you're not alone. Trust me, every single one of my patients who I do uh, facial rejuvenation surgery on feels this way. So here's the deal. What are the two characteristics that make somebody look young? And I'm gonna make it super simple. It basically comes down to skin and shape, okay? Facial shape and skin are the two things that makes somebody look young, and here is why. When you think of that 20, 30 year old, the person that you envision in your mind, what do they have? They have young looking skin and they have a young looking facial shape. What does young looking skin mean? It basically means skin that's supple, it's overall clear, there's no sun damage, there's no fine lines and wrinkles, it's uh, luminous, it reflects light beautifully, it's smooth to touch, it just looks young, right? It's what we think of as young skin. What does a young looking facial shape look like? Well, it has a certain level of volume to it, there's some fullness associated with it, there's certainly no laxity, right? There's firmness of the, the outer brows, the, mid face is nice and high, the jawline is firm, you can see the jawline, the neck has got a gorgeous contour to it, there's short upper lip, there's no extra skin around the eyes. That's a young facial shape. Some people describe it as a heart, some people describe it as an upside down triangle. Bottom line is, you know it when you see it. It's all around kind of held up and has a certain level of fullness associated with it. Now, think about what aging does, right? Let's just talk about aging changes to the facial shape. Well, basically, that upside down triangle literally gets flipped into the opposite, where the top is narrow and the bottom gets heavy. We lose volume around our temples, around our eyes, and everything gets really heavy down below as the jowls form and the neck gets heavy. So that flipping of the triangle is one of the fundamental changes in facial aging because and if you break it down into individual components, you've got you know, the lengthening of the skin around the upper and lower lids, the sagging of the outer brow, the mid-face jawline and neck, the lip gets longer. All of these things are happening 
at the same time as volume loss. You're starting to see a deflation of the fat in the face, so the face starts to get deflated and hollowed looking. Now all of a sudden you start to look longer, heavier down below. Some people even describe it as a rectangle, all these different, different descriptions of it. But bottom line is you know it when you see it, right? So that's the changes. Now what happens to aging skin? Aging skin starts to get discolored, you lose collagen so it starts to thin, you start to see fine lines and wrinkles, it starts to get dull, doesn't reflect light well, it becomes all around crepey and the lines and wrinkles that, that we all kind of think about when we think about aged looking skin. When you're thinking about treatments, let's make it super simple, right? Everything that's related to sagging, right? The sagging of the jawline, eyelids, lip, all that stuff, that's simply surgery. There's no other good way to treat it. So you're gonna hear about things like threads and radio frequency and ultrasound and all these different type of uh, non-surgical things. I promise you they will not work. Okay, if they, if they would work, I would have them in my practice. I would be offering them to the literally thousands of patients that contact us each, each month that we can't operate on for a number of different reasons. We would offer them these treatments. Why not? If it worked, we would, we would offer it to them. But we don't because they don't work. So simply put, surgery is the only way to get your sagging changes back into position. When it comes to volume loss, you gotta think about it this way. Volume loss doesn't cause a sagging, it's just happening at the same time. So you don't wanna overfill your face and try to fill the face up to the point where it's trying to lift your face. That won't work either. You're just gonna end up looking like a, like, you know, like a pillow face, puffy, and unusual looking, like an alien or avatar, which we've all seen and we don't love. So that's not gonna do it. So when you think about volume replacement, you're just simply replacing lost volume, which is not that much, but it is enough to, to create that nice, beautiful facial shape. Now, in my practice, what that means simply is I do a vertical restore, I do upper and lower blepharoplasty, I do a lip lift. That's kind of my surgical um, combination to reshape the face. Then I do fat transfer to re-volumize. That's, that's my personal approach to reshaping and re-restoring re the shape of the face. Now, that's that, right? Super simple. Now, what comes to um, youthful skin, and this is gonna guide you because you're not gonna mix the two things. You're not gonna do things that are really designed for skin to try to improve facial shape because that's gonna be, as we talked about, it's gonna be fruitless. So what, what helps with skin? Very simple. You gotta be you know, living a healthy lifestyle, right? The skin is a huge organ on our body. It's the biggest. So um, what you eat, you know, what um, you put on it, your overall health status is very important. So what I recommend, living with a clean diet, um, good hydration, um, good sun protection, um, no smoking, moderate alcohol. Those are all sort of lifestyle stuff. Then the active ingredients you're gonna put on your face. That's a topic of a whole nother video that you can watch after this. I talk a lot about the individual ingredients that really, really are important to be part of an active uh, skincare routine. To cut to the chase, I've simplified that whole thing by creating what's called the CaramMD trifecta, which basically basically puts all those actives into a single, simple three-step treatment, which simply means that what you put on your skin on a regular basis is super important. Skincare doesn't have to be complicated, but it does have to be comprehensive. That's really important. So what you're doing from a lifestyle point of view, doing on your skin on a daily basis becomes the foundation of your preventative skin from aging and also restoring your skin from aging. And then what are some of the other things? Let's say you're in your, in your mid 50s and you have some you know, deep discolorations and lines and wrinkles and things like that. Well, guess what? You've got tools. That's where lasers come into play. Um, chemical peels come into play, IPL comes into play. Those things are used to improve the quality of your skin, which are totally worth it because in order to look young, you need to have really youthful skin. That has got to be an equal priority to facial shape. That's, that's the point that I've, I've made in other videos that you may have watched already. But suffice it to say, keep it super, super simple. Keep yourself out of trouble. Keep yourself from wasting time, money, and, and energy, and ultimately being disappointed. This is what it comes down to. The youthful facial shape is like a heart, full up top, narrow down below, firm, youthful and beautiful ultimately. So um, when you think about yourself, this is how you should be thinking, skin and shape. If you combine those two things, you're going to look as young as you feel in a very effective way. Guys, I hope that helped put some 
context into the aging process, put some direction in your quest to look more youthful. Guys, do me a favor, if you like this video, hit like below, um, share it with friends and family, as you know, um, getting the word out and, uh, and helping others understand what you just understood could really make life a lot easier. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be presenting stuff like this once or twice a week and, uh, and peruse through our library and see all the other fun videos that we have uh, that will help guide you along the way. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer all of them. Guys, thanks again for your attention. Uh, facial shape, skin, that's your ticket. Thanks so much.